For hospitality properties to grow their business and remain competitive, they must make a commitment to training all employees. Ongoing training will show your employees that you consider them valuable, will improve any declining morale, and will guarantee consistency. In this edition, I'm going to explain why and how to get started. Welcome to another edition of Hospitality Property School. I am your instructor, Jerry McPherson. Would you let a mechanic work in your car who's never learnt about cars? Or eat in a restaurant where the chef was never taught to cook? Or feel comfortable being treated by a doctor who never went to medical school? Well, here is a fact. Training gives your employees the chance to grow their knowledge base. Unfortunately, Many employers only see the negatives when looking at training opportunities, such as training opportunities can be expensive or employees might miss out on work time. Well, let's look at what can happen if you don't train your employees. When there is no training, employees might not understand how to do their jobs. This can lead to low morale among staff, which causes employee turnover. A property with a reputation for high employee turnover is also unattractive to potential job candidates. Unskilled employees could spend considerable time seeking help to perform their jobs, or they could do the tasks the way they think they should, which could be a disadvantage to the work process. This could result in a low rate of production. Supervisors and more experienced employees would have to spend more of their valuable time checking unskilled workers. Untrained workers are more vulnerable to injuries. A hospitality property that does not have trained staff can expect a boost in miscellaneous expenses. This could include reimbursement of unsatisfied guests or even the cost of medical attention for staff because of injury sustained from unskilled use of equipment or supplies. Untrained employees will result in dissatisfied customers that will not return. The good news is, is that if an employer steps back, they might see that training and development can provide both the hospitality property as a whole and the individual employees with the benefits that make the cost and time a worthwhile investment. If the training is well thought out and relevant to an employee's job and presented in a professional manner, businesses are more likely to retain great employees. Training can show employees that you consider them valuable, relieve stress and tension resulting from turnover, improve declining employee morale, and the decreased productivity that results from a high loss of employees. After the break from our sponsor, I'm going to talk about more positive results due to training. Do you have an independent hospitality property, a hotel, resort, inn, or bed and breakfast? and at times feel overwhelmed with all you have to do? Do you find yourself doing everything from checking guests in, to marketing, to looking for the right people to work for you, to cleaning toilets and everything in between? What happens when things become hectic? Do you feel stressed? Do you find it difficult to plan for the future when your only concern is how to get the rooms ready for the new arrivals? So what can you do? You have to get organized. You have to learn the strategies that will make you more effective. Wouldn't it be great to learn the techniques the big brand hospitality properties use and to work like you have a full organizational structure supporting you? If the answer is yes, your next question might be, how do I do this? Well, if you can make the time and have the extra funds, many universities and colleges offer hospitality training programs. Or you can learn from those who've gone through all your problems and see how they have streamlined their business. You can do this by becoming a member of the Hospitality Property School Group. The benefits of this group include helping your hospitality property to gain a clear vision, help set up your organizational structure, help set up your brand, help your social media strategy, help create an atmosphere to hire the right employees, help grow your business. The Hospitality Property School Group is designed to share knowledge, tips and techniques to like-minded hospitality property owners and managers who might not have the benefit of having an entire organization to support them. If you are looking for ways to streamline your business, 
learn how to set up an organizational strategy, to hire and keep the right employees, and to increase your bookings and profit, then visit keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com forward slash membership hyphen site and explore the Hospitality Property Group for an entire week for only $1. We guarantee you'll find tips and techniques that you can begin using right away to help start improving your bookings and profit. But don't just take my word for it. Explore yourself for an entire week for only $1. That's keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com forward slash membership hyphen site. You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Before the break, I said I was going to talk about more positive results due to training. Now here are some other positive results due to training. Almost all employees have some weakness in their workplace skills. A training program can allow those skills to be strengthened. Training can help reduce any weak links in your business who rely heavily on others to complete their basic work tasks. A good program brings all employees to a higher level so they all have similar skills and knowledge. With necessary training, you can create a team with overall knowledge who can take over from one another when needed. You will have employees who work independently without consistent help and supervision from others. Your employees can contribute to the success of your hospitality property when they are trained to perform their jobs according to industry standards. Trained employees are interested in performing their jobs well to advance the company and feel a sense of pride for a job well done and advance to higher positions. A trained employee becomes more aware of safety practices and proper procedures for basic tasks. The training may also build an employee's confidence because they have a stronger understanding of the hospitality industry and the responsibilities of their job. Employees who are competent help your hospitality property hold a position as a leader and a strong competitor in your region. Hospitality properties can reap the benefits by providing training to their employees because well-trained workers help not only increase productivity, but profit. Keeping well-trained employees pays off significantly for your hospitality property because the cost of employee turnover can be high. The importance of consistency. A consistent, structured training and development program ensures that employees have a reliable experience and background knowledge. All employees need to be aware of your business's basic policies and procedures. Putting all employees through a regular training in these areas ensures that all staff members have at least exposure to this information. It is also proven that job satisfaction generally increases and self-esteem improves when trained employees have a better understanding of the workings of the business. Training can also enhance morale on the job and loyalty to your property. The importance of a structured training program. When designing a training program, there are a few things that have to be taken into consideration. A structured training program has to have a clearly detailed schedule. It has to have a time frame. And it has to have an outline of activities with well-defined goals and consequences. And responsibilities should be assigned. Having a structured training program usually leads to more success in employee development than an informal or unstructured one. Without a clear structure, some companies cut corners and fail to complete the training process thoroughly. The structure of a training program also increases your ability to provide a constant high-quality training experience for your employees. This ensures that each employee starts with a similar opportunity to learn the key aspects of their job. Structure means certainty. You can be certain about the quality and the impact the training provides, or at least to the extent they trust the trainers to perform their duties. It will not take long before you know how many days or hours you need to assign to the training for each role. This makes the budgeting for training more effective. Okay, so does this make sense? Let me know by leaving a short comment below. Now, I'm going to look at how to set up a training program. You have to look at training as an investment in your property and staff that will provide lasting returns in productivity and profits, but only if it's well planned and implemented. It all starts with you. 
To be competitive, hospitality property owners and managers must make a commitment to any new training programs and create an atmosphere and culture of ongoing employee and business improvement. Assess the training needs by defining your hospitality property's needs and goals. Define short and long-term goals. Based on these needs and goals, identify position-related goals and skills necessary for your employees to achieve these goals. As these are being determined, add them to your operations manual. You want to start training with new employees. Here's a step-by-step -step way to get you started. New employees to your property can be welcomed with an orientation program that will make them feel at ease and part of the team. Your orientation program can provide employees with a proper introduction to your property, what is expected of them, and where they fit in to the overall goals. New employees need to become acquainted with their new workplace immediately, so take them on a tour and point out the essential locations. While touring the facility, introduce new employees to their co-workers. Give them a copy of an employee handbook that contains your hospitality property's rules and regulations. It should also cover the benefits, pay dates, pay time off, lunch, other work breaks, state or provincial and federal employment laws, acts, and more. Provide the employee with a signature page that outlines that they have read and understand what is outlined in the handbook. It should also include their expected goals and how they fit into the overall needs of the property. This information should be discussed during the new employee orientation so that an employee can get clarification on any points they are unsure of. Although an employee might have experience in the hospitality industry, they still need to learn how your property system works. An option might be shadowing an employee or employing a mentor to guide them through their first couple of weeks on your property. Schedule an employee evaluation after some time on the job. This can benefit both employers and employees by giving them each an opportunity to discuss how the employee is performing in his or her role and what they may need to do to be more successful. You may want to consider a 30, 60 or 90 day review period for new employees. Now the ongoing training. Separate trainings into two categories, soft and hard skills. Now, soft skills are trainings on such topics as customer service, policies, harassment, diversity, safety, and other general information trainings. Hard skills are those to complete specific tasks, such as uh, equipment operation or specific job procedures. Create a training template on paper or on computer spreadsheet that lists the employees' names, job titles, and all the trainings you plan to offer. Placing scheduled training days next to employees' names for each training will allow you to use the templates as a scheduling and tracking guide. Match employees with trainings that suit their specific jobs. Some general information training should be assigned to every employee on the training template. Designate an in-house training coordinator or team to help develop and create your program. There are resources online that could help you with this. You may also want to consider hiring an independent training company to develop your program. Your coordinator or team leader will oversee all training programs. Implement your training program with all new hires during their orientation, especially those trainings related to the safety and your hospitality properties policies. Arrange for current employees to attend training as needs arise or schedule allows. Follow through with your training programs. If you're going to spend time and money getting it prepared, your goal should be to get each employee trained as quickly as possible. Monitor your training programs regularly by obtaining employee feedback and comparing the departments before and after the training. It's okay to tweak and modify trainings as the program progresses. Developing an effective employee training program is vital to the long-term success of any hospitality property. Training programs provide multiple benefits for the employees and your business, but only if they are carefully planned and properly implemented. You have to prioritize your types of training. 
implement training models in order of outside importance. If customer service or time management is a major issue, roll out those trainings first. Use a professional trainer or experienced employee whenever possible. The outside trainer's interaction and presentation with materials can have a major and lasting effect with training. Use multimedia tours. Professional training organizations use slideshows, whiteboards, games, role-playing, and videos, in addition to written material. Create an employee feedback form to rate the training and collect comments and opinions as to the training session's perceived effectiveness. Participant feedback must be taken seriously to grow the program and to gauge its impact. Make training part of every new employee's orientation going forward. New employees are prime candidates for training during their first days on the job. Now don't go overboard. Limit the time for each training to no more than 60 to 90 minutes or even less. This will make the scheduling predictable and help prevent employees from experiencing information overload. Now it is really important that all managers and supervisors be on board with the concepts presented and train themselves. Without the support and understanding of management, training programs run the risk of having little or no benefit. Work together to set goals. When creating a new training program, Allow employees to give their input on the goal-making process. By letting the employees work as the goal-setters, management can show these workers that they are important members of the business instead of just lowly employees. And one last point today. When your employees complete a training session, they should be recognized for their achievements. Showing them you truly appreciate all they have done could encourage them to continue to put an effort into being the best staff they could be. If you would like to learn more tips and techniques for operating a hospitality property, I highly recommend you join our six-day challenge. Whether you are operating a one-room bed and breakfast or a 500-room luxury hotel, there's always something new you can learn, and this six-day challenge will take you step-by-step through the process of operating a successful hospitality property and it's 100% free. You can sign up below. Now if you like this video, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and if you're going to implement any of these procedures. You can support this free podcast by leaving us a review and giving us a 5 star rating on Apple Podcasts or wherever you happen to be listening to it. Every review helps more people find the podcast at no cost to you. If you know someone who might benefit from this video, please feel free to share it and make sure to hit that like button. I appreciate the feedback. Be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for your attention and let's continue to work together to put heads in your beds. Until next time, have a fun day. We will see you next time, right here in Hospitality Property School.